So Gateway Technical College is quite the leader in EMS training. We bring in uh, opportunities for all levels of healthcare training. All of our EMS programs, whether it be the first responder, the EMT, the advanced EMT, or the paramedic, I would say 50% of each one of those classes um, is classroom time, and the other 50% is in small group work with an instructor. One minute elapses, protocol states you can put in a combi tube. The hands-on thing is great because the way it works is we'll have a lecture day and everything that you learn in that lecture will be directly translated into what you do the next day. And uh, it's just practicing the skills that you're going to use in real life as an EMT. But we also do a lot of field work, so all of our paramedic students easily will put in close to 500 hours in the operating room, the emergency department. Um, they have to do ride time with the various paramedic squads to the tune of probably about 200 hours. We are required to do so many hours of clinical time and ride time in the field. Um, that really gives us a chance to be able to actually have patient contact instead of just working with the mannequins. So that's really helpful for when we get out on our own. Once you have your training permit, when you go on calls, you actually see this stuff in real life. And so it's stuff that you learn in class, you can take and use in the field, which is pretty cool. So a lot of our program, at least 50% of every one of our courses, uh, involves some type of a lab or a practicum experience, okay, which is exciting for the student. It gets them out, um, out of a classroom environment. So one on one side, one on the other. Let's get them all buckled in. Uh, we're very happy that uh, the college here has uh, okay, so built us a uh, specialized facility called the Hero out. Center. It's located in the central part of our district. And so in this facility, we have all kinds of technology, um, simulation labs, and it allows the students to learn on these uh, state-of-the-art um, pieces of equipment. Well, we went through a scenario with a human patient simulator um, with a drug overdose that we had to perform CPR on and give medications and it's very nice to be able to work with that kind of equipment because it gives you more of a real life um, situation than we would get with just regular mannequins. And we have all the mannequins that we would ever need to practice skills. We have all the tools that an EMT will ever use in their scope of practice and it's just neat to have those all in our hands and using them in class every day. Okay. One, two, three. Um, if you have a passion for helping people, if you have a passion of making a chaotic event a uh, less chaotic event, uh, you have that drive, um, this is the field you want to be in. Well, right now I work for a private ambulance company. Um, I do plan on going to the higher level critical care so I can do more inter-facility transports with critical patients. Um, it's a phenomenal field. You get to make independent decisions, um, but you make, you make a positive outcome in most cases, so join the profession. It's a great opportunity to do something positive for your community.